I'm Francesca Simon. I'm the author of The Sleeping Army. And at this point, near the very beginning of the book, Freya, my 12-year-old heroine, is wandering around by herself at night in the British Museum in room 40, peering into some of the display cases. And then there it was, resting on an open stand behind the Lewis chess pieces, like an offering. The carved ivory horn, decorated with enameled silver panels inset with green jewels, dangled from the ceiling on two ornate chains. Runic inscriptions circled the wide bell. Freya went over and peered inside. She couldn't see from one end to the other. The curved horn was enormous, bigger than she was. Ceremonial horn from a Viking silver horde, origin unknown. The urge to touch it was overwhelming and irresistible. Freya glanced around. No one could sneak up on her, not the way footsteps creaked on these wood floors. Slowly, she reached out and brushed the wide-brimmed bell of the horn with her fingertips. The ivory was ridged but velvety smooth. She jerked her hand back quickly, waiting for an alarm to sound and guards to come running and throw her into prison. But no alarm sounded. Freya circled it again and stopped before the ornate tip. Hypnotized, Freya stood on tiptoe, put her lips round the horn's narrow mouthpiece, and blew. A thunderous, roaring, ringing, shrieking blast rumbled and swelled, peeling and blaring louder and louder and louder till Freya didn't know where her body ended and the sound began. Freya jerked her mouth away, but the ringing horn blast continued reverberating. The roaring, swelling earthquake exploded around her, clap upon clap of thunder, peeling, clanging, booming, banging, booming, banging, booming, banging, until she thought her head would split. She pressed her hands against her ears, but the blasts were inside her now, controlling her heart, her breath, her life's blood. The white carved ceiling and walls cracked, and a gigantic gash zigzagged across the floor, Armor and shields crashed from the walls while all around her was the sickening sound of smashing pottery and glass. Every alarm in the museum went off. There was a humming in her ears, a feeling as if the moving air was cracking and thinning, then thickening around her. There was an overpowering smell of frost and fur. She felt as if her body were breaking apart. The air hissed and bubbled, splintering into shards of ice the glass case containing the Lewis Chessman shattered. Freya was caught up in an icy whirlwind, like a wave snatching her ankles and spinning her through space. Bob, running into the room shouting her name, glimpsed a queen, a king, a berserk, a riderless horse, and Freya spiraling together through the air, sucked into a vortex of flashing lights. Then they vanished. Freya! He screamed stumbling as he crunched through the ivory pieces and glass scattered across the floor. He stood in front of the smashed display case and buried his face in his hands. Oh gods, he thought. Oh gods, Claire will kill me. <laughs>